Please. I haven't had a drink in just about three years. I stopped drinking three years ago. I drank most of my life. My first uh, drinks were in high school. I remember the first day I got buzzed. I uh, was hanging out with some people I ran cross country and track with and we were going to a football game and I drank and I go, whoa, this feels great. Probably drank too much because going to the football game, my memories are fuzzy. Uh, and I went to college, lived in a fraternity, drank too much like a lot of college kids did. But I think maybe society looks at drinking in a different manner than they did uh, in the 80s. Uh, probably. But either way, college was certainly a time of great excess. Again, I was living in a fraternity. We always had a keg of beer on tap <laughs> 24 hours a day. And there was always somebody you could find to go uh, to the bar with or go down and grab a beer or what have you. Somebody out there uh, was looking to let loose. And if you were one that always wanted to let loose, you always had an opportunity. Uh, <clears throat> had periods in college where I uh, uh, didn't remember getting home from the bars for more often than I did remember getting home from the bars. Uh, yeah, it was weird. I, I don't know, blackout a lot. I mean, a lot. My friends would make fun of me because I'd come to a point where I was, uh, again, I think I was covering up stuff that it was unpleasant in my life and how I felt about myself and for a while you can cover it up with drinking alcohol but there comes a point where uh, you no longer feel any elation or happiness or goodness from drinking and at that point I'd be at the bar and I'd have all these negative thoughts and the alcohol wasn't covering them up and I'd <laughs> run home <laughs> my friends would make fun of me because I'd wake up in the next morning and didn't remember getting a home, and that would happen a lot. After college, I got various jobs, or I didn't get various jobs, I became a stockbroker, and uh, came into money for the first time really in my life, and had more money than I knew what to do with, and was living downtown, and was young and single, and uh, thinking that alcohol, and nice apartments and fancy cars and beautiful women were the uh, key to happiness and indulged in all of them and uh, was still searching for something and ended up just kind of drowning uh, myself with all those momentary pleasures and uh, continued drinking until uh, for most of my life and I kind of looked at myself on the brink of a second divorce just about three years ago today just separated from uh, my second wife on the way to our my second divorce and was feeling dark thoughts and was staying at a buddy's because I had to leave the house we shared together Stand at a buddy's feeling really dark thoughts for the umpteenth time in my life and used to struggle with really dark thoughts uh, most of my life and had realized I didn't drink too much that day but I still had seven beers and I said hey the one con I have two constants in my life really dark thoughts and alcohol <laughs> maybe there's a correlation let's try not drinking tomorrow so uh, didn't drink the following day didn't mean my life's issues were all of a sudden solved because that's not the way it works uh, but at least you are forced to address the issues and uh the feelings and the anxieties and the worries that uh, you have instead of just kind of covering them up or burying them. Uh, and Coffee with Ken is kind of the show after it. 
uh, where I'm figuring out life after drinking, figuring out what you do with life. Because I haven't had a drink in three years. I'll tell you what, you, any out there that drink too much, and I don't want to describe what too much is, because I'm not saying any of you should quit drinking, but probably wouldn't hurt. But I realized once I stopped how often I, how many hours I spent drinking. And it was amazing. And everything I did was an excuse to drink. And Coffee with Ken is the show of a guy's life who's figuring out what to do after he stops drinking. And he works out. He has a job. Yeah, not a glorious job, just waiting tables. Uh, but it's a job and it pays. Uh, uh, you know, fairly good money. He has a roof over his head, not a glorious roof, not a place that he plans to be forever, but it's a place and, uh, it's okay. And he smiles a lot and he feels good a lot and he goes to church a lot and he goes to the gym a lot and he, uh, thanks God a lot for the blessings in his life. And uh, that brings you to today.